Hello, welcome back to another video looking at Contact 8. Came out a couple of weeks ago, brand new uh, update from uh, Native Instruments, their flagship uh, sample player, VST player, and it has a couple of new things. So last time I looked at the chords tool and the phrases tool, and also if you go down your menu, there is a leap tool. And uh, if you click on that, you're going to see this, the lo-fi vibes that comes with it. Right now, I'm sure they sell you way more different uh, files later and, you know, add-ons uh, to add to your collection. So what it is, it's like a loop sample player. You might have seen those. Uh, there's competition out there on the market. They specialize in that. For instance, the one I like a lot is uh, the Elastic one from Überschall. Those guys are amazing. Uh, this one is similar concept. You hit uh, a key and it shows you the waveform. And then you can modify it and sync it. I mean, all kind of things. But this is again a standalone plugin, just specializing in playback of those loops. So now Contact has built it inside of Contact 8. Has it built in? And so what it is, it's like uh, literally uh, 14 loops spread out over your white keys. And you see it here in blue. Right now, it starts. Let me go back up here, otherwise, we don't hear it. It starts on C2, and it goes all the way up, of course, to uh, to uh, D4. And if you don't like it in this region, you can just hit the Start key, and you see you can move it up and down. So wherever you want your keys to trigger on your keyboard, if you have a 4-octave, 3-octave, 2-octave, you can move this around so it fits your keyboard. So that's great. So when you hit a key, of course, it starts playing that loop. And you can see, if you click on the little sign here, you can see the waveform, right? So the more keys you hit, the more uh, loops are playing simultaneously. The one that is highlight, that's the one you're going to see up here, actually. You know. That's the kick. That's the snare. And of course, you can modify all those loops. So if you click the kick, for instance, let's do the snare. If you click on the snare, you're going to see the waveform. Whoops. So one, it comes on two and four. If you don't like that, you can actually change the start time. Let's make it eighth note. Okay. Right? So you can change, make it shorter, do all kind of things. You can uh, reverse the sample also with one button. So make sure you're selected on the sample you want to change. So, you know, kick drum. Here's my, my snare. You hit reverse. Right, so very simple. You can actually experiment quickly and get some sounds you want. And uh, so, yeah, you just hold down all the keys. You can record into your lane up here. Hit record, and then it's going to record your keys. And later you can modify them. Now, what is happening up here? Those are your performance keys. They do things to your waveforms. For instance, this one will slow it down. This one will speed it up. This one will move it up an octave. This one moves it down. So if I... Hold down my first um, six keys, and if I hit this guy, up the octave, right, or slow down or double speed. And of course, there's a stutter effect and things like that. And this is the black, the black keys, right? Here we go. So you can play. Right, so you gotta time this out, and and but you can uh, do a live performance even if you are on the stage. You can load your samples and then have some fun with that. And if you don't like certain effects, you can click up here on Perform Effects, and you see your lineup. Right, so you see the the double time, half time, and here you have an arrow, and you can go in and change it to a couple. You know, you can right now we're on the beat masher, and you can go to gator, beat slicer, whatever you want, and that's gonna be then on this key, which is uh, oh, one down. Yeah, the F sharp, right? So C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, you know, or G flat, A flat, B flat. The black keys. That's all it is. So this is your keyboard, right? So. See, here they are. So if you want to change this, just move it around. Now we got the, you know, reverse grain. It's going to change the icon, 
right? So you know what you just did. You know, so anyhow, so this is how you modify your little performance effects. And of course, in addition, you can send the entire mix or parts of your loops to delay and, and reverb, things like that, uh, and time it, sync it, stereo, ping pong, all that usual stuff, if you want it in the box, if you don't want to apply it later in your DAW. And under edit, you can edit all your samples, as I talked about. You can also speed them up individually. If you say, you know what, I just want my snare in general to be on double speed, right? You know, you can also move the snare, make sure the snare is selected, move it down to half speed. Right? So anyway, it's very fast, it's very quick, and it's syncing to your DAW if the sync button is on. If the sync is off, then, you know, everything, every loop here is individually controlled. Uh, on the tonal stuff, let's say there's piano, guitar samples, right? You change the tonality here. Right now it's for the entire group. So, so this guitar and the keyboard over here will both go, if I change this to C. But again, you can click on just the piano and you can change the piano just in here right so you can go major minor and uh, modify your tonality if you know where that is now if you don't like a certain loop for instance that kick you can go to loops over here and you can go down your list and see keys percussion kick there are a couple of kicks, so make sure the slider is up and you can audition. Let's say you want this one. You just drag it, hold it, and drag it onto your first or whatever slot you want. But let's put it in here, and now it changed. Okay, let's move this back. Now I got a different kick. I mean, if it grooves, that's a different discussion, right? But you can change all your loops to your liking. One thing, you cannot drag in your own loops from the browser or something, right? You need to use the, the loops within your library, similar to the Rex files. Remember that? You had to use a compatible player that can decipher the Rex information. So at this point, you got to use the built-in loops and I'm sure they're going to sell you way more in the future. But uh, at this point, uh, there are quite a few, as you can see, uh, body mechanic, bump in flavor, decoded forms, you know, and there's going to be way more later if you want to add on. Uh, so again, a very quick tool, a fun tool, I think, if you don't own any other loop player in your, you know, uh, a DAW or in your collection, this is great. Again, it's included in eight and I think if you want to quickly add a couple loops to your production, simple, straightforward tool with a little flexibility, not too complicated, I think. And there's still things you can go in and modify, look at the sound, even you can fine tune, you know, with high pass, low pass filters. So you can do actually a lot of stuff if, if you want to modify your sound. So here you have it. A quick look at the uh, Leap tool in Contact 8. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.